Hello everyone, welcome to No Man's Sky 2021! I need to swallow. <laughs> We're playing permadeath today. I just recorded 30 minutes of me standing in front of my ship um, at the center of Eisentam um, while talking and describing what I was doing. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. So, uh, now we're in the spawn system of 192 because that's what the recording was. So, we are probably going to make it to 194 today. Boy, if I keep this up, I won't need a lift to the 198th. <laughs> so, we're in the spawn ring and um, I actually called my ship here. The place where my ship was was over there somewhere. And... Um, because I look up to, looked up at the screen and, and there was no um, there was no video. Everything is broke. Um, launch fuel. All right. So we're in the spawn ring, so we need to drop a base computer. I'm waiting for my my game to start behaving itself again. I had, had to restart my computer. There we go. <laughs> Look at all that fungal mold. <laughs> There's just a big long stripe of it all the way across the screen. Now we're going to name this base computer using different keys. Ooh, Montum. 192. Yeah, that's right. Spawn system. There we go. And the game is still running. And Streamlabs is still running. I need to remap my Streamlabs keys. All right, so here we are uh, in the spawn ring. What we need to do is teleport um, to uh, our jump off system in um, Isotam, because that's where it is. It can be any uh, any galaxy. Boy, I can't function now. There's a battery. There's a wire. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I have a base computer at the center of a galaxy doesn't matter which one. Uh, it happens to be at the center of Eisentam. So we're going to go there. And uh, we are jumping galaxies using the anomaly. And uh, we've jumped a lot of galaxies. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a question um, whether this can be done in single player. And oh god, we have a storm. Uh, yep, Etark jumped to center. Okay. And it's an extreme sentinel planet. And oh, uh, so network multiplayer is off. And now we are going to go find my shippo. My thermal protection is broken. Hurry up, Shippo. Good grief. It's not going to let me use that landing pad. Oh, hey. It used that one. There we go. Alright. There's no point in fixing that because I'm just going to break it in a minute. So let's go ahead and we will go up into space. The anomaly should still be here. There it is over there. Because I just used it here uh, twice in a row. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah. I've already fixed this once, so I'm guessing that that doesn't fix it. All right, so let's look at the galaxy map. It says Eisentam, uh, 20... <sighs> Thanks. Thank you for showing me the Atlas again. We finished the Atlas mission last week, remember? All right, so we're 2,900 light years from the center of Eisentam. 
And I just did that to show you that we're at the center. Uh, now we're going to go to the anomaly. Oh my god. I wonder if it'll give me another S-Class underwater module. I wonder if I have the one. Yep, there it is, right there. <laughs> you can also go to the anomaly at the end of this trip every time and get uh, Quicksilver from the Artemis mission if you haven't finished that. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it a couple of times. It's only 150 Quicksilver. But just to test it out. Sorry, I'm hiccuping now. I just had my lunch. I had a terrible headache. And uh, <laughs> now I have hiccups. Urgh. <laughs> I had a terrible headache and I looked up at the screen. And on screen... Uh, on my Streamlabs was uh, just a static photograph of me standing in front of my ship there at that trade post. And the whole time I had been recording and talking, nothing. Oh my god, where is it? On the other side of the universe. It's just like been flying long enough. Yeah, yeah. Hostile scan detected. <laughs> difficulty finding my base last time because it wasn't in order on the anomaly teleporter which I find very odd uh, you have to oh that happened last time too that's very strange you have to use the anomaly teleporter to do this because you need the return to anomaly function there we go Alrighty, your bases. Let's go to the last base. Omantum 192 spawn. See, there's Naforda 190. And if you look up, Dudera 191 is up in the list. It's silly. So let's go uh, warp to Omantum. Warp, teleport, whatever. The other night, Lava was teasing me about, um, he kept calling the teleporter a portal and because he knows, knows it bothers me. <laughs> All right, here we are back here again. Carrie, you discovered this. Um, and now what we are going to do is grab a quick save. Not a very quick save because I don't want to carry a bunch of noise. We're gonna check and make sure that we have the broken multi-tool selected. Okay. And then we are going to hit return to anomaly. Now what this does is, um, let's see if I can describe this better for once. The anomaly is at the center of a galaxy. You are in a different galaxy. When you use the return to anomaly button, it brings you to the same location the anomaly would be if it were in that galaxy with you. You can see we're clearly on the anomaly. We get into our ship. And we exit the anomaly. There's no anomaly here. And that's because the anomaly is actually in Eisentam in my case. It's wherever you used it. All right. Now, let's see if we're at the jump off system. Oh, we're in a three star system. Uh, so we'll unclick from that and we will look. We are in fact in the jump off system. Sometimes you're not. Uh, sometimes you're not that close. We need to go to the space station and check the multi-tool.
you can drop a base at the center of the galaxy and use that new galaxy center uh, if you want to, but any galaxy center will do. I could have been doing this from Euclid all along. Uh, 191 galaxies, 192 galaxies in. It's very dark in here. Let's go see if I'm going to need to drop a base. C-class. We'll skip it. Alrighty. So, we have uh, the broken multi-tool selected. We have a intergalactic traveling ship. There's no technology in the front, although this is starting to build up. Um, no, I might need platinum. Definitely need a warp cell. The warp, uh, the hyperdrive has to be fuel, full, uh, even though it says 95%. It doesn't say 100%, so it does have to say 100%. Now we're gonna take off. We're gonna go into the galaxy map. It's on galactic core. We're gonna move the mouse around in this case until you see that select thing come up. You'll see that little yellow uh, thing and when it gets close to the galactic line, the select thing comes up. On PC, uh, you have to hold down the left mouse button until, that, uh, until it takes you to the center. There it is. And then we can go through. On to the 193rd. And like I did in the video that didn't record. <laughs> we'll do this one more time. <laughs> Doing a lot of intergalactic traveling this week. I have gone through um, 15... 15 galaxies in the la since uh, since Wednesday, last Wednesday, and today is Sunday, so in five days. <laughs> this is really super fast. It's even faster in single player. In multiplayer, it takes time because you're goofing off and you end up in different systems usually, um, and you want to meet up somewhere. Yeah. And if you're with a multi-tool hunter, then you gotta stop in every backwoods station and look for a multi-tool. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a, a multi-tool in the outback. a orange or yellow or whatever galaxy F6kanj F6kanj whatever 193 <laughs> I also uh, lose count of what galaxy I'm in This music changes. The music at the front end of traveling through the center doesn't. Cristo. All right. I need to change uh, multi-tool. If you want to find your ship, otherwise you can just uh, uh, call a ship to you. I also have uh, repair kits. Uh, where are they? They're somewhere. Oh, maybe they're on me. 
Yeah, there they are. Uh, repair kits that you get from derelict freighters. Where's my shippo? Can I not change multi-tool? There we go. Now I have a HUD. Here's my shippo. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to go to your ship uh, if your ship isn't broken. You can just call it to you. Or you can call some other ship. I don't want to challenge. I have three S Class uh, jetpacks in the back. The technology part of your. Um, equipment doesn't get broken so uh since i'm stuck i'll just show you uh in the back here this part doesn't get broken although my fungal shield is empty it's just the stuff in the front and so that's why you um that's why you want a ship that's got everything in the back seems to be a really long way Here it is. Alrighty. Now we are in the spawn system of 193. Let's drop a base computer. Donich Misty Colony. All the, the entire purpose of this base computer is to give you somewhere to go to. And so you want to make sure that you name it. In this case, we'll call it uh, Donich193 Spawn. If I use my uh, keypad for that, um, it changes the scene on my Streamlabs. <laughs> So I can't do that. So now we have the 193rd spawn system. And you can uh, interact with all that stuff out there. I'm gonna load that. I'm just going to grab a save. And... Oops. Make a couple of extra. And we need a teleporter. And we need a power source. I don't like that gun always being selected. There we go. There we go. And I could like show you uh, what we're, what our location is. Go up into space. You obviously saw that we went through the galactic core. Really pretty here. We are now uh, 715. <laughs> 715,000 light years from the center of Avs. Kanja. <laughs> Good grief. You can fly to the space station to go back. Oh my goodness gracious. And this is going to be a constant bother to me too. It has been for the last several days. And we'll just go back down and use our own teleporter. But you can go to the station teleporter to teleport back. From space is a really pretty planet. It's not until you get down there that you realize, oh. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, load that. Load that. Load this. 
select our bases and the center of Eisentam, Makina base, and back we go to the center of any galaxy in our case it happens to be the center of Eisentam. I might bring that forward at some point. There's no real reason to, but um, unless I find a really awesome planet somewhere ahead of me. Yeah. All right. Uh, call the radium pillar because it's on the ground somewhere. Change back to the broken multi tool. Make some warp fuel. I can only make one more. I'm out of uh, probably everything. Uh, oh yeah, I'm out of condensed carbon. And that thing is broken. <laughs> All right, and we will go back into space. There's a space station. There's the anomaly. It's pretty far away because I warped, I tele, uh, pulsed for a long time. I'm just gonna call it closer. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's here. It's just really far out there. I have a lot of the galaxies to go through in the middle because we skipped um, from like 28 to 50 something and then we skipped to the 159th I think and uh, then Lava did 159 to 181 alone. and then uh, called me and asked me if I wanted to uh, go into the 199th on the live stream. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Let's go to a lush. And uh, so we went from 181 to 189 together and we'll go to our bases and Donich 193 spawn. Uh, I am going to go back and delete the interim base computers uh, because I I don't want to have to struggle to get to ocean beaches or someplace like that. And uh, right now it would be a struggle, I think. I'm getting close. All right, here we are back on uh, Cristo. I'm going to grab a save. And then we are going to hit Return to Anomaly. The longest amount of time any of this takes is whatever distractions you find. If you end up in a wealthy system or, you know, a Viking system or on a beautiful planet or any of the other number of things that can distract us. This game should be called No Man's Squirrel. All right, and as you can see, the... It is not here. I think I might move my center to right there. What do we got here? Ah, uh, it's aggressive sentinels. All right, let's see if we're at the center. Uh, we're 2,800 light years. That is in fact the center. Uh, there's no real reason to do this uh, particular stop. You can just go on through. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, declining. Seriously, no reason to stop. <laughs> Should have checked that before I landed. Alright, we are going to load the hyperdrive because it's at 95%. Make sure that we have the broken multi-tool.
Anything you want to tell me, suit lady? Thanks. <laughs> Back to the... Uh, you can see down in the bottom of the screen that my uh, fleet is at a place called Adzan. It's not in this galaxy. All of those locations that you see are bleed over uh, from my save. They're not actually here. I've never been to any of those places in this galaxy. So here we go. Select. You want to keep holding that down until it actually pulls you to the center. Uh, just having the circle filled is not enough. And here we go. Into the 194th. And believe me, nine galaxies of listening to lava sing to this. <sighs> it's enough to make anybody crazy. Doesn't help that I started out that way. <laughs> SpaghettiOs. Yummy. I'm going to leave the link for the No Man's Sky wiki that has the complete list of all the galaxies uh, down below in the show more section. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And here we go. Here it is. I boss win 194th. Back in the day, a few people uh, passed all the way through all of the galaxies. Um, that was before next. It was in Atlas Rises uh, using the portal uh, before portal interference existed. Uh, they were able to use the portal to portal to the center of every galaxy. And you can still do that now that portal interference has been lifted. Uh, you would need to find a portal each time, which you can do uh, by calling in uh, your freighter if you have the, uh, the equipment on that. Uh, let's fix this. And load it. And uh, you need to have. <laughs> excuse me. You need to have your uh, exocraft uh, equipped to do this. Uh, but uh, what you do is you just go into your exocraft scanner and scan for a monolith. And uh, then you would go to the monolith, solve the puzzle, and then re engage the monolith and uh, it will show you um, the, uh, the location of the portal. And then you just dial bird and sun, 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 or all birds or all suns or whatever. Uh, the first two uh, glyphs on the portal are the zero and one. Uh, they are, uh, the, if you dial just that glyph all the way through, or four whatever glyphs, and then the rest, the remaining eight as sun uh, or bird, uh, it will take you very close to the center and uh, the closest planet that it can, or star system it can find. And then you just warp to the center from there, which is usually one or two warps if your ship is equipped for that. My ship can do uh, eight, uh, 911, oh, that's right, I got a new hyperdrive. Uh, 911 light years, which is uh, makes it like two jumps to the center. 
Uh, the center of the galaxy is never at zero light years. It's uh, always somewhere around 2400 or so, give or take. Um, and uh, so don't expect it to go down to zero because it won't do that. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, like I said, please click the like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, we will see you on uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will see you uh, as we go from the 198th into the 199th, which is the next Lush Galaxy. Uh, we'll be doing that with Lava Lamp. And uh, because he, he actually wanted to take me there for me to film single player 198 into 199. But I went ahead and did this this way uh, today. So we'll go into the 199th Lush with him. Uh, thank you again. Have a great day.